Hello. Can I help you? Uh, I'm an old friend of John's from the military. Captain Larry Trainer. I can't believe it. The bandages. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I was just in the neighborhood and I wondered if he... Of course. Come in. He's been drifting in and out. And your ears must have been burning because he keeps saying your name. You son of a bitch. I can't believe you came. Hey. I... I thought it was all a dream. I had a bad fever for about a week. I conked out. I saw the white light. I thought, well, John, old boy, it was a good run. Wheels up. All systems go. But when I got closer to the light, I saw you. Good God. That steak sandwich was fucking awesome. <laughs> I go back to that motel in a heartbeat. I gotta be honest with you. This stage in my life, I'm too old to ask how. You're here, Larry. But you're here. <laughs> it's so romantic in here amongst the diapers and decongestant, isn't it? <laughs> Let's go to the porch. And if you don't mind, darling, I need a lift. You got it. Uh. Up we go. <laughs> You're still so strong. What I said in the bar, it was selfish of me to bring my crap into our fantasy. I'm sorry. Are you kidding? I'm here because of what you said. Part of me hoped you'd come. Let's face it, other than the vet, I got no one left. Everyone's croaked. That's what they don't tell you. You enter wearing diapers and eating baby food, and you exit the same damned way. It's just my way of saying, I'm very glad you came. Larry Traynor.